Here we go. We have a bandit brush chipper. This one is 12 XP Intimidator equipped with the Caterpillar C 4.4 diesel engine. And in this video I'm going to show you how to change the feeding auto speed, how to get into the hidden password protected menu and change the auto speed engagement RPM low and high and much more. We'll see. Yeah, very important settings. I will show you how to do it, where to get your entry password for the cheaper. Yeah, lots of helpful information. Let's get started. Here we go. As you can see, my auto feed is off. My cheaper is off as well. Engine is not running. Guys, this video is only for demonstration how I do it. What works for me, if you have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, put everything down in the comment section below. Yeah, all right. Let's start the engine and get into the operator's menu, Bandit Chippers. Here we go, here's our basic main menu. Let's get into the maintenance inputs. As you can see, there is a lots of data, data pits. You can go through all of that, mostly just for your reference and information, what settings are. Maintenance menu three, or in one, and maintenance menu four. Yeah, all specs parameters are there. Not, you can go and scroll through each of them. We're now going to our cheaper settings. As you can see, fuel saver time. I like to keep it at 15 seconds. Fan interval reverse in 15 minutes. That's what I keep. That's a standard. You can increase if you want. Okay, go to setup one. And now we're entering our password to access a hidden settings control menu. I got this password from the local bandit dealer which only corresponds to this particular machine you have to get your own password to access this menu this is mine as you can see cheaper set up menu number one we have auto feed engagement high rpm 2350 auto feed low 2050 rpm auto feed reverse time 300 milliseconds we have a fuel saver load and thrower psi and thrower low and high yeah those settings are right now they're a little bit too high i'm talking about auto feed engagement high and auto feed low i like to keep a engagement high rpm down at 250 300 below the maximum engine rpm which i count from 2350 rpm uh, i'm going to drop it to 2000 50 rpm and set it there for auto feed engagement rpm speed for high we're going to set to 2050 rpm for auto feed high and auto feed low i'm going to set 250 rpm from our auto feed high rpm yeah this is my setting i found it works for me and i like to be able to engage my auto feed at 1800 rpm at the lowest and then i have to rev it up i add a rpm speed and it gives me that enough window to operate my auto feed rpm yeah as you can see lower i'm keeping at 1800 and highest at 2050. yeah we also have auto feed reverse time i will keep at 200 yeah 70 200 yeah 60 50 is pretty much milliseconds not a big of a deal 250 is okay for me and we have a fuel saver load load 35 percent i will stay with that which is a standard pretty much yeah it's a we have a setup three menu you have to adjust the cheaper trucks and as you can see left or right you have more settings percentage yeah and you can also get to factory if you want yeah, as you can see, all those cheaper setup menus from one to four. Yeah, your tracks, forward, reverse, high, low. Yeah, those settings. Okay, now we're going back for more details about the required specifications. Always check your owner's operator's manual. Okay, how to select the feeding speed? Press the mode and go to corresponding button speed you see we're in first second third and this is how you select your speed depends what kind of material are you chipping if it's wet 
you keep it lower that's what I found when first speed yeah for chipping a very fluffy wet material especially if it's deciduous trees if it's dry mostly branch brush yeah you can go higher in speed that's what I found yeah okay well, let's increase the RPM and now I can engage my low auto feed at 1800 that's what I like and in that diapason from 1800 to 2050 I will be able to turn it on yeah as you can see I'm chipping a large trees real maximum what you can chip on this chipper pretty much and yeah you can see machine is working great I'm keeping my RPM at this point higher to get more momentum and air as well my vents are open and chipping is smooth as it can be yeah always keep your knives sharp yeah this machine is fantastic for doing emulsion cleanup and keeping your forest nice and healthy yeah there's lots of settings lots of certain adjustments you can do over time to learn how to to set a machine properly or different material whatever you chip in and uh, yeah well this video is only for demonstration what works for me and if you guys have a questions put them down in the comment section below critics suggestions recommendations i have more bandit chipper videos check them out appreciated your time watching this video guys yeah subscribe to the channel thumbs up if this video is helpful and uh, See you in the next one. Bye-bye.